Hello, I am Anita Shetty. I am a teacher. Here I have come to tell you about how I found one and the true living God. It all began when I was studying at the university and one of the girls asked me whether I believe in God. And I said, yes, of course I believe in God because I had many gods to myself. But then she had told me to tell about God and I hardly knew anything. Though I had God, I hardly knew anything to talk about this God. I didn't know what to explain and what to tell. And But then that, there was a question, what is this girl talking about? Because normal people don't talk God. Normal people don't have God in their day-to-day -day life. They are all busy with their studies, with life going on. But then I thank God for my friend that day who spoke to me about God. And my search began for God. I thank God that she gave me a New Testament of the Bible in my hands when she gave me this question. And I started reading this Bible since I was a good reader. I started reading and believe me, for the first time I came to know about Jesus. I came to know about the story of the cross. Till then I was not understanding why Jesus was hanging on the cross. I never knew anything about it. But that day, first time I came to know. And I had this God. I, I started believing. I started reading. Until one day, I made this prayer from my heart. I said, Lord, I don't understand much. I read it, I forget it. I read it, I forget it. Then I made this prayer one day. Jesus, if you are the true and the living God, please come into my heart and change my life. And I asked the Holy Spirit to come into my life. But believe me, when the Holy Spirit came into my heart, the Holy Spirit began explaining the Bible to me. Holy Spirit began talking to me about the scriptures. The scriptures became alive to me. And I started attending meetings. I started attending the prayer meetings everywhere the word was preached. And my hunger and my thirst was increased because I wanted to know about the true God. Till this moment in my life, though I knew God, though I, though I had so many gods to my credit, but I had no hope, I had no joy, I had no peace. I had, I had nothing to give to the world. But after this time that Jesus came into my heart, I had a new joy, a new peace. And more than that, I had conviction. That conviction that says, don't tell lies. The conviction that says, don't do that. There was an inner voice which was not there before. There was an inner voice that, that led my life. And the words, and the words were not mere words. They were life. They speak, began speaking to me everywhere I went. These words started speaking to me God, as if God was speaking through them. And it, I came to a point in life where there was a preacher and he was saying, because until then, I was not taking this God as the one true God. He, had, he was one of the gods to my many list of gods. But until one day, there was a preacher who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except by me. And this word, when he was preaching, his face was not there. I saw Jesus standing and he was telling me, I am the way, the way, the truth and the life. And for me, since I was reasoning everything with my ability, with my intelligence, for me this the, the definite article was more important. If he is the way, there is no other way. If he is the life, there is no other life. If he is the truth, there is no other truth. And I said, Lord, if you are the Lord of all, then I give my life to you. Then you are able to take care of everything that belongs to me and that I am. And since then I made a decision. I gave my life to Jesus. And since then, now 14 years, I am walking with Lord. Never seen back. And every every day, every day, every day, he just keeps confirming his love to me. He just keeps confirming his hope to me. I have never turned back. And there, is, there are so many testimonies. There are so many instances where he has proved his lordship, his kingship. He is my, he is my provider. He is, he is my deliverer. He is my healer. He is my protection. I have seen so many areas in my life that I can, I can never, never say, like, you know, Jesus, you are not Lord. He has been the Lord and He is still the Lord and He will be the Lord because He is on His throne. He is the Lord. Amen.